If you're going to have some replacement heifers that you plan to breed this spring, you'll want to remember some research that was done here at Oklahoma State University about 17, 18 years ago, where they looked at the effect of a change in nutrition right at the time of the start of the breeding season. What they did in this particular study was take a set of heifers and have them on a good growing diet, about 20% above maintenance. Half of the heifers, they took them and put them on a lower diet that only contained about a third as much as the others were receiving. So they only received about 40% of what they really needed just to maintain their weight. Those heifers, both sets, were given estrosynchronization drugs so that they could time when those heifers would come into heat and therefore ovulate. And by doing some blood samples, uh, looking carefully at the hormone changes in those blood samples, they could tell which of the heifers continued to cycle and to go ahead and ovulate and which ones failed to do that. The heifers that they put on that restricted diet for only 14 days, 30% of them was all that went ahead and had an estrous cycle and ovulation, whereas 100% all of the heifers that were maintained on that good growing diet throughout that two week period went ahead and ovulated. What this tells me is that we need to be cautious about how we handle heifers right before the start of a breeding season. In some cases, we may be moving them from uh, a pasture where they were receiving uh, some good supplement, perhaps in some cases where there was rain, they were on wheat pasture, and then move to a headquarters area so they could be synchronized and artificially inseminated but perhaps put on dormant Bermuda grass or native range, a much lower quality overall diet, that could mimic that same situation that was taking place in the study that we talked about. Also, if you are in a situation where some heifers might have been on a, in a dry lot and receiving a good growing diet, uh, being hand fed, and then you decide to put them out into a breeding pasture, perhaps with bulls, Again, that same kind of uh, negative loss in terms of protein and energy going to those heifers could have that adverse effect on cyclicity and ovulation rates. So let's keep that in mind as we go into this breeding season. We want to try to keep these replacement heifers as they're reaching puberty. We want them to continue to grow and continue to put on weight into and through the breeding season and we'll get a much higher percentage of them cycling and having a chance to get bred. Hope this helps you this year and we certainly look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner.